Okay. So I finally decided on names and uh, this one is Baldrick and this one is Edmund. Baldrick and Edmund from Blackadder. They're about five weeks now, I think, five weeks old. They're very playful. So at this stage, I am trying to spend as much time with them as possible, especially around feeding time, bonding with them and uh, entertaining them as much as possible. Um, there's little things that you can do at this stage with regards to the training um, because they're so forgiving it's best to sort of introduce them to things that they will need to sort of encounter on a daily basis as they get older and one thing that we'll need is uh, the transport box so today uh, I introduced them to the box put the box inside the pen um, I should have filmed it earlier really because we kind of missed the best bit but um, so ideally what we want them to do is to sort of accept the transport box as being part of their daily routine and feel completely comfortable going in and out it and uh, not have any fear of it at all now as soon as I came in this morning with the box they were a little bit sort of apprehensive um, and I put the food down in front of it as you can see here and they literally flew straight down from their perch and started eating jumping around a little bit because they were a little bit wary of it and then um, within about a couple of minutes Baldrick who's here went straight into the box and had a jump around and then um, Edmund followed him so you know the, it's all part of the play and the inquisitiveness at the moment so we're just sort of encouraging that as much as possible. Now they're a bit wary of the camera. So I've cut their food sort of down to two, uh, two times a day now because um, what I was finding was the when I was feeding them three times a day the, the, the middle feed was kind of taking off they weren't really that hungry because it was so hot and uh, so they were kind of nibbling at it and then I'd need them to have a big feed later on because they weren't really gaining as much weight as I thought they would they should have been because it has been it's literally been so hot um, so the middle feed was sort of taking away their appetite and then by the time I was feeding them late in the evening they're, they're kind of the, they'd lost their edge a little bit and they weren't eating as much as they uh, as they should have been so I've decided to just feed them twice a day and give them two big feeds one in the morning and they're, then they're hungry in the morning so they, they'll eat quite a lot and they'll put that food almost straight over into their stomach so that food's not sitting in their crop during the day and then later on in the uh, in the evening about eight o'clock I'm giving them another fairly big feed and again they're hungry so they're putting their food straight over and they're also a lot more easier to sort of handle when they're hungry um, they're a lot more playful and and you can do things like introducing them to the box and stuff like that so um, that's the routine that we're on at the moment as you can see they've still got a lot of poo around their legs now this is one thing that I didn't sort of anticipate being a problem but as you can see I don't know whether you can see there they've both got rings on and uh, and the rings are getting a bit clogged up with all the poo so I'm having to sort of spray the ring and keep the ring from clogging up around their leg every day 
I'm hoping that as you know after the summer there be, um, when the weather gets a little bit cooler uh, they'll stop doing it but I can also sort of see if and when I need to put Jesses on them or Almeries on them then um, the same problem is going to occur there but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so this is Baldrick here and he's so much more playful and inquisitive and just really wants to be around me the whole time look Edmund's going to have a little walk in the box hopefully there he goes Edmund, look, Baldrick just wants to lie on me at this stage I quite like to think that Baldrick will be um, my favourite <laughs> difficult to have a favourite but you know when you've got one that sort of just wants to be with you the whole time and wants to lie and, and nibble you. it does peck a little bit but mainly nibbling and likes to be stroked Edmund's a little bit more standoffish he says, seems to be a little bit more independent what are you doing over there come this way do like to nibble if anyone else has trained black vultures please tell me that yours were nibblers too I've got scabs on my legs that they're trying to break, bite off which is not nice So I'm going to leave it there and let them sort of jump around and play around the box, leave the box in here, leave the food just in front of the box there so they can get completely used to it. I'll probably leave the box in here now for a, for a while and do a little bit of box work every day. That's the key at the moment is to sort of when you start something you just got to continue to do it because it's the repetition and the consistency of it that makes it work if you sort of introduce something and you don't get the results that you want and then you sort of take it away then it's very difficult to kind of come back to that especially if the birds had some kind of negative experience so we're sort of you know introducing little bits little bits every day the box today and I'm going to try something new in a couple of days with a little mini glider um, which I haven't done before um, but we'll see we'll see how that goes I'll show you when uh, we get around to that uh, but yeah in the meantime that's it that's uh, Baldrick and Edmund <laughs>